Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to episode two, or mission two, of Super Seducer 2, Boss and Secretary. It's a dangerous territory, but the workplace is still a common place for relationships to begin. How do you successfully navigate and avoid getting fired? In brackets, or sent to jail? This, this could only go well. Let's jump straight into it. Here we go. Loving this game so far. Are you sick a little bit? A little bit, got some sinus problems. Sorry. Okay. How's your business going? It's going really well. Yeah. We're doing uh, product design now, really? furniture design. Oh, yes, wow. very excited. Got cool. two prototypes, and they seem to be really nice. Oh, Everybody brilliant. likes them. But more importantly, how many followers you got on your honestly designed Instagram? Because that's more important than of money course. and contracts. Just one thousand at the moment, but well, I That's hope we get good. more. Shilling his wife's. Okay. And I'm sorry I missed your birthday. Oh, yeah. The office, you know, it's a bit nuts at the moment. Oh no, that wasn't his wife, was it? Okay, it was really was nice it? party. Hmm. Yes. Sorry I wasn't there, but, but it's not all bad because I've got a present for you. You do? Yeah. Finger you ready? I think so. Okay. What? Well, oh, okay. We're straight in. Um, I thought this was a work thing. Okay, what will you give Lilia for a birthday? Voucher for yoga lessons, a raccoon, or gift a game? Oh, Steam game, obviously. Come on. Look, you've been wasting a lot of time with this uh, design business, so I've got yeah. your present. What are you going to gift her? In, you've got a Steam account now. And Steam I've, account? Yeah, and I've gifted you this game. Check it out. Mm. So basically, you're a dick, balls, and an asshole. And you need to take your dick and fuck the oh, other that's quite a good game. It's called genital Magic. jousting. It's a good game. Yeah. I thought it's your kind of thing, because you like... Mm. Yeah? You like it? Because I like dicks, yeah? Well, who doesn't, right? Mm. Mm. Not a fan myself. I don't think I understand it. So, oh, what am I supposed to do? Well, you control the dick, you know, you go around to get to the asshole, fuck the asshole. The other guy's trying to do it to you and, you know, you can play multiplayer mm. and all that. Very exciting, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very intellectual as well. I think my design is interesting. Couldn't you do some design, interior design or product design nah, game I for me? just play this genital oh, this jousting you... shit, man. That's what I do. Yeah, man. You okay. know me. Priorities. Mm. I like this one too. Do you like it? Give them a computer game? Give on them Steam. a computer game? Mm -hmm. I mean, she might love computer games. I could be wrong. She could love them, in which case it's a great gift. Hmm. What well, if she doesn't? A, well, then it's not a good gift if she doesn't like computer games. What if games? she doesn't, but you want her to like them? Then I think you're kind of... No, it's still not very good. It's a very selfish present. Okay, what if it's my game and you gift it this holiday season? What if she doesn't have something to play out on? What if it's my game and you gift it this holiday <laughs> season? Oh, it's the best present <laughs> ever! <laughs> Is that the right answer? Yeah. This is great, you know, and I'm happy we can still be friends after... Um, yeah, it's not his wife, that was a different one. You know, when we had sex. Uh, yeah? yeah? You remember, yeah, yeah. that time, yeah. Like, in my house, Do and you we remember? had some drinks, and yeah. when you just broke up, and... Yeah? You remember? Yeah, I, yeah? Yeah, I see that, what you, what you mean, okay. yes. Okay. Uh, uh, anyway, look, guess what? Um, tomorrow I've got this uh, new secretary starting in my office. It's a I big day, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Is she good? Oh, she's really smart. I think she's going to be great. Yeah? I oh, hope so. Hope mm -hmm. she can work it out. Mm -hmm. Random. I <laughs> love loving the poster. <laughs> Imagine having an office with just Sarah, glass. could you come in, please? That's weird. So we have to hit on her without getting okay. fired or going well, to jail. Okay, your first day at work, so we should get you started with something. Nothing too hard. Let me ask you to... To talk... To take your dirty laundry to the dry cleaners. No. Ask her to fax some contracts. Fax? I'm sorry, what year is this? Tell her you can't focus on her work because you're thinking about fucking her. It's, it's a bit too blunt. Um, that's a PR nightmare. 
We don't want any Me Too movements shit going on. Create a situation in order to surreptitiously check out her bum, or ass in this case. Sexually show her how to staple. How do you sexually show someone how to staple? Okay, well, I'm going to go with that. I want to see. I want to see what a sexy so staple is. So far, so good, but I've noticed one big problem. So we need to fix it, all right? Do you know what it is? No. You're stapling. Stapling? Yep. It's just not going to cut it. So how are we going to do this? Okay, give me a hand. Come on, let's get this sorted. Come on. Okay, so it's all in the He's way you wrap it. He's going to rub it up and down, the staple, isn't he? A grip with your little finger here. Like that, get your thumb in there. Yeah, that's it. Grip it. And then push down. Uh -huh. You got it? Yeah, I, I got it. Uh, let me try. Okay. Yeah, try. Give me a hand. Stay for your Can fingers. Do that. <laughs> Amazing acting. <gasps> ambulance. <gasps> Call an ambulance. <laughs> Amazing. Ooh, still I mean, got the scar from that one. Yeah, I think that was pretty deserved. Okay, I guess we're going to fax some stuff because it's 1983. Just printed out some contracts, so if you can go get those together, I'll quickly sign them. Also, I think I've got a meeting today with uh, Ben Adams, right? That's it. Three, but I need you to move it back 30 minutes if you can. So, yeah, go and do that stuff to get yeah, started okay. and I'll, I'll think of some more things sure. for you. And when you come and speak to me, you should probably have a notepad. I mean, sometimes there's just, you know, some, oh, some okay. stuff to write down. Okay. All right. All right. Smooth. Just, you know, work-related. Good. Nice Simple. one. So here you had the opportunity to immediately be, you know, trying to it's the first day. and stuff. But... In the beginning, Not in the office, answer. come on, you've got to be professional. Yeah, it's really important that you keep that professional boundary at the beginning, not look like you're hitting on her. Otherwise, she's going to lose respect for you. Yeah, we knew that, boys. We knew that. I just wanted to see some sexy stapling. Mr. Lorena, I've got a lot of mail today. What should I do with it? <laughs> Don't like the look. Sexual because it, what? Correct tone to take with her. Sexual because it's your company and you can do what you want. I'm gonna say no again to that. Flirt, flirty and cheeky to plant the seed of a relationship. Well, I'm, I'm gonna be boring and say professional because it's in an office. Yeah, you need to get used to that because we get a lot of mail. Most of it is junk, right? But okay. don't throw it out right away. Why don't we start like this? Make uh, two piles. Right? For the first couple of weeks, we'll try and figure it out and, you know, slowly we'll get to the point so that you're just opening everything and only bringing me the important stuff. But for now, you know, try and separate into two piles and we'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, got cool. it. Cool. Okay, cool. cheers. It's just an office simulator at this point. This is a pretty obvious one, I think, right? Yeah, of course. Um, again, like it's the beginning, so you know how you're not comfortable when you just start a new job and the last thing you want is, you know, the difficulty of dealing with a flirty boss at that time as exactly. well. I just think you'll instantly lose respect for him if he starts so early on in the game. Mr. Lorena. Yeah, what's going on? I have Thomas Green on the phone for you. No, wait, wait. Hey, hey Thomas, how you doing, buddy? Fucking amateur. No, 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 that's just rumours started by short sellers. You know what those guys do, pushing down the share price. <laughs> uh, Are we going to have to tell her off? Reprimand no, no, her. The price on that drug Bend her over the desk and give her a good spanking. 800 and something, 823, something like that. But it was really just so we can, you know, do better R&D and create more life-saving drugs. No, uh, fake news. Look, that's fake news. I, I've got to go. I'm sorry. Big news. You. Yes, yes, I understand. Another time, another time. Thank you very much for your call. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye. Oh, he's angry. He's angry. Sarah, get in here, please. <clears throat> I bet there's a bender spanking 
Right. Tell her to book a hotel for you both at lunchtime to make it up to you. Tell her it's not a big problem, but to be more careful in the future. I'm going to say that one. It's going to be the right answer. Tell her it's totally fine. No biggie. I don't know. I think we have to say, look, sort your shit out. Make her cry to teach her a lesson. We're going, with, we're going with this, boys. Yeah. Just in future, sort your shit out, yeah? Sarah, do you know what you just did? Yeah? This guy, Thomas Green, is a real asshole. Okay? So he's on the list. You've got it there somewhere in your desk, right? Yeah. You know that one? 20 people not to yes, put through? All right. He's going to probably yeah, write a bad article or whatever. Me. Don't worry. You just started. Everyone can make one or two mistakes. It's all right. But in future, just, you know, your job is basically to protect me from all these... Nasty people. My mum put them through straight away. Certain <laughs> people put them through straight away. Thomas Green, sorry, he's busy. He's always busy. He's in a meeting. He's out. That kind of thing, right? But don't worry too much. Just, you know, be careful. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. That's I'll be right. more careful in the future. Yeah, that's what you should Okay, don't before. worry about it. She's got a list. <sighs> he's still not happy. He's not happy. That's the right option, you know, in, uh, in any kind of um, office environment, if someone's working for you, you want to give them a chance. If they make the same dumb mistake three times, obviously it's too much, but, you know, everyone's welcome to make a mistake or two. Yeah, and again, he's acting professionally, you know, you respect him in his position. Okay, so is this whole level just going to be work-related? Mr. Lorino. Yeah? You have three meetings coming up today. Okay. First one with the everyday guy. All right, I'm going to need the money bag for that one. Okay. The second one with R&D manager. Okay. He's useless. What's the next one? And the last one is with Phil Beckman. Okay. Now, you know I told you about Phil, right? He's very, very important. He's invested even more money. He's up to over a billion with us. So you know how he likes his coffee. He likes the little biscuit, all of that stuff. So just keep him happy. You know what to do. Sure. Don't fuck it up. Give her a personal task to perform for you and reveal some personal info. Tell her to wear more sexy clothes to work. Tell her you had a... This is, this is the dangerous level, this, boys. Tell her you had a really sexy dream about it and describe it in graphic detail or tell her some juicy gossip about the marketing. I'm going to say, bit, reveal a bit of personal info. So, you know my yeah. mum calls all the time, right? Yeah. So, you know we're pretty close. And it's her birthday coming up. Really? Yeah, yeah. So, I wanted to ask for your help. Um, it needs to be something... Obviously, you know, we can buy her something extravagant. Mm -hmm. But she really likes it when I'm thoughtful and... You know, you know me better by now, so yeah. could you just think a little bit and see if you, you have know, any ideas you and then we can have a little brainstorm, you know, and see what yeah, we can sure. get. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. We've still got a month, but, yeah. no. Okay. All right, thank I'll you very much. That. See, we love our mums. Makes us more attractive. That's right, so it's already been a little while, so revealing a little bit of personal information at this time is so You've cool. got a mum. And it's, uh, it's not super personal, it's just the right amount of personal. Yeah, and you're not... Re you're, you're seeing how she acts and finding out something about her choosing gifts, a bit about her character. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can learn about her character by what she comes up with. That's what she just said, but okay. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Mr. Lorena. Oh, call me Richard. Okay. Nice jacket, mate. Complain that you had to work over the weekend to get sympathy. Talk about how her weekend was. Talk about a girl you fucked over the weekend with explicit... De There's a lot of explicit detail going on. Ask when was the last time she had a proper seeing to in the bedroom. <laughs> I'm going to say, how was her weekend? Ask her questions. Let her talk. Yeah, don't talk about yourself. How was your yeah. weekend? It was fun. Um, I went to go karting with oh, yeah? my friends. Yeah, it was I'm surprised. so much fun. Yeah, you like racing and stuff. Yeah, I do. Actually, mm. driving is my passion. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. And how was your weekend? Oh, it was good. I had to finish some work and then just yeah, relax, watch the movie. and uh, It was pretty good. I'm, I feel rested. But good. I didn't know we had a speed freak in the office. Well, now you know. <laughs> it seems like a classic question to ask someone. Yeah, agreed. It's not too uh, personal, but for a Monday morning in an office, Just it's, it, uh, it's, got the it's seducer definitely hat on, okay. The seducer eyes um, but it might like reveal it. something that you know is uh, is interesting and tells you more about her yeah. outside the office. Maybe you have some common ground somewhere, something you 
share in common that you can talk about? We, we Sarah, how long have you been working for us now? Uh, for three weeks. Yeah, about three weeks, right? Look, I think you're doing great so far. You know, Thank everything's you. cool, pretty much. But and I just wanted to know, like, what are you looking for in general in your career? Like, what, how do you want to develop? Well, my main goal is to learn and develop. And mm -hmm. I want to get as much knowledge as possible in all areas of the business. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm very happy. Tell her she needs to set her sights lower, give her career advice and mentor her. That's decent, you know, a bit of one-on-one -on -one time. That's like when you're at school, we'll help you with your homework. Tell her that working, the working world is really for men and that she should be focused on finding a husband. Tell her she gets an A-plus for filing and an F-minus for sucking your dick. Okay, let's go for the mentor option. Sarah, you know what? Um, the person that had your job before you... They're actually doing really well now in another business. Mm -hmm. So there are lots of opportunities. I, I didn't know you had that kind of ambition, but here's what I can do. You know, we've got all the different departments here, everything from IT to marketing to the research and development guys. So why don't I invite you to more meetings, more events? And that way you're just going to learn about all the different Should sides of the business. It? And we can see what you like, see how <sighs> things go. Good. And yeah, maybe, maybe we can find something better for you in the future. How does that sound? Really good, thank you. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's the right option and for all guys that are kind of older and have a lot of experience and you know maybe in a in a good job or just have oh. some amount of knowledge, uh, mm. demonstrating that is always attractive, I would say. Yes, it shows that he's ambitious and he's also ambitious for her as well. Sarah, are you there? Yes, Richard. Good to see ya. <laughs> Invited to a fancy business networking event. Here we go, here we go. Jerk off while on the phone. I really want to do it, but I want to nail this, boys. Right? Ask what she's wearing. There's a glass wall in between you, like eight feet apart. Okay. I think, I'm pretty sure I've got Sarah, this one right, Sarah, are you free tomorrow? Lads. There's this brilliant networking event. We've got a lot of industry big wigs there. trying to get her into bed. Super, super All right, cool. boys, we're not just trying yeah. to... Yeah. Yeah, of Crack course, thank you for the opportunity. In a glass time. office. Okay, great. <laughs> Although, <laughs> I like to see the faces on all the other people. So this is cool because it's kind of it's um, like not date, blurring the line a little bit between step. office and social. And you could do it office. with uh, after work drinks or you could do it with a team building event or uh, a business trip. But a networking event would be another option. But it still keeps it on professional. Uh, just in case. <laughs> just in case he rejects you horribly. Oh, he's thinking. He's deep in thought. He's doing business stuff. He's got a question. How to behave at the networking event? Be slightly flirty. Play it cool when there. Get drunk and make a move. Not be. I think be slightly flirty. I think you've, we've got to at some point start having a little go. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the cock finger comes out again, <laughs> right? I think we... So it's the first think. time out of the office, slightly flirty? Mm, it could go both ways, really. A bit risky, well, maybe. Yeah, maybe not great for longevity, but then I don't know. It just depends on the what woman. What do you mean you maybe? don't know? The it's whole point is just first time, giving us yeah. advice. Right. So to kind of get through that in a professional way is... I, I think, think it's a best. big tick if you can do that. Nothing wrong with being slightly flirty. You can be flirty with people you have no intention of getting with. All right, one week later. Is this the event? So, you went to the event with Mr. Larina? Yes, I did. Did anything happen? Um, no, it was fine. Uh, he was kind of flirting, but I guess that was just the drinks. <sighs> he probably drinks too much. Yeah, maybe. Good acting. Okay, marketing team. It's the weekly strategy meeting. I want to get it kicked off in a great way. So, who has a fantastic idea? <laughs> Mr. Larina. Gerald, okay. I've got one. I've been working on a proposal to increase our Facebook and Instagram likes. I have a three posts a day with the funny quotes, health tips, and picture of the people with the disease and whatnot. Um, we think it'll get good traction in the social media. So gain a lot of shares, would increase our likes. 
I'll send you some concepts. Uh, what do you think about this idea? Uh, it's about going to be cost of about fifteen thousand dollars per month budget to get up to hundred thousand followers within six months. Wank masturbate into well in brackets masturbate into the plant pot. I like the fact you go into a marketing meeting and then just there's no direction at all. It's just give me a good idea. Gerald, the guy I can barely understand. And there is, unfortunately, there is no subtitles. There is, I think, in the main game on Super Seducer, there was subtitles. But because there's this early access, there's no subtitles yet. Once we get the full game, we'll put it on subtitles. I, he was talking about increasing Facebook likes and stuff, wasn't he? Um, so do we answer that with a quick crack one off into a plant pot? Give him a big slap and fire him. Sl smartly persuade everyone to your view humiliate the guy for a stupid idea, agree with the guy because your secretary agrees. No, mate, smartly persuade. That's what, that's what, we're the boss man. That's what we fucking do, son. Gerald, I like the direction, but I've got something that I need and all of you need to pay attention to this. What's Anytime you present me with a spending plan, I need to know how that backs out in terms of revenue. I'm not going to spend 15,000 a month unless it makes at least 15,001, okay? So we need that in all of our plans. Make a dollar. Do you know how much a like is worth? If you don't, you've got to find out. If you can't tell me, we don't do it, all right? Now, maybe you want to do something more targeted. Maybe you want to target FDA officials on Facebook. Maybe you want to target people with specific diseases on Facebook. Now, that's a good idea. All right, guys, so think about that. Anyone else got something that we can use? Nice. I love business. So, yeah, you're using the knowledge again in an attractive way. And uh, it's also important for someone in power not to kind of exercise that power at any given opportunity by crushing, killing and destroying people. <laughs> it's nice to, to do it in the right way. And, uh, just yeah, no. I think it's attractive. Hey, morning. Start making morning. Moves How are you doing? Good, and you? Oh, I'm all right. I'm a little bit embarrassed, though, that um, I've got a massive wine stain on, on my shirt. It's a disaster. Yeah. It's a oh. I mean, it wasn't exactly my fault. thought you said wine busy, stain. But we don't need that kind of thing, you know? Wine stains are just never, never a good look. Do you think they'll be able to get it out of the dry cleaners? Uh, yeah, OK. All sure. Right. You didn't tell anyone, did you? Like, oh, Richard's done a mm, wine no. stain. No, no, I didn't. All right, cool. How Rich was the a business style. trip for you, apart from that? Uh, it was great. It was great to see those speeches, and thanks for the opportunity. You're welcome. Use referencing the business trip to find out if she's single. Say she needs to add me on Facebook as a company policy. Ask if she's single. Ask if she liked any men at the event and tell her why they are useless. So it's, it's between A and B, right? I think referencing the business, because it keeps it professional and it's not really... Because if you just ask somebody if they're single, it's basically saying, I'd like to date you. Are you available? Whereas this, it kind of, we can still get away from it and it's professional. We were away for a few days. You know, is that okay with, with everything? Like, yeah, it's okay. You don't have cats to feed? No, or no, I don't. Boyfriend didn't miss you too much? I don't have a boyfriend. You don't? Okay, great. So, um, okay, great. I can invite you on even longer trips, right? Like if we needed to go to different yeah, conferences sure. in different countries and stuff. Okay, great. Smashed right. it. Smashed Let's get it, back boys. to work. Smug. That's cool, nice one. Uh, it's kind of a, a little bit of a sneaky way to do it because if you ask directly, does she have a boyfriend, it's highly inappropriate, wouldn't you say? Yeah, definitely. Even though it's oh, been yeah. quite a while, I think it's still important that you act professionally. And yeah, if it's done in a smooth manner, then I think you can get away with this one. Sarah, can you come in? Richard, do you need anything? Yeah, I just wanted to share the good news. Have you seen the Wall Street Journal today? No. Ah, oh, it's brilliant. Those short sellers got fucked. We smashed them. It's brilliant. Really? Yeah, yeah. Share price is up. Guy lost over a billion. Everyone's redeeming their funds, taking money out. He's in big trouble now. Everything's brilliant. Congratulations. Yeah, we need to do something celebrate. to celebrate. Mm -hmm. Smack her ass and thank her for the support. Give her a thousand dollars and tell her to buy some fancy snacks and wine for everyone. Oh, fancy snacks. That's, that's some impressive snacks. Tell her that you're not finished with those 
cocksuckers. Take credit and tell her to book me a spa day. I think it's we're going to show our generosity. He was talking about millions, but we're only giving a thousand out, but that's fine. I know what we can do. Look, we've got a little stash here. Take this cash. That's real money. Grab it. Yeah, I don't even know how much is there, but why don't you go out, see what we can get. Let's get some, uh, for Friday, get some booze, some nice food, sushi or something. What else can we do? Just little gifts for different people, right? Okay. Spend every penny. Good idea. You get something nice for yourself as well. Get something for yourself, love. Keep the change. Uh, cool, nice one, right? Option, you know, it's good to show the love, be generous, and yeah, it's one of those cases where uh, people will respect you more if you credit the other people, even if you really did actually do everything. <laughs> yeah, and it's also nice to show that you're generous and that you appreciate heart, everyone around you. I think that's a nice heart, quality. Richard, yeah? everything is arranged. Oh, great. Thank you. Yeah, um, I just wanted to tell you something that I really like it when you're relaxed because you seemed really stressed lately. Thanks. <laughs> oh, obviously not sleazy. Professional or more informal. We've got to start doing something, otherwise this, is, this whole level is just going to be how to be a good manager. Yeah, you know what, Sarah, I was really stressed and I'm sorry if I was a bit sharp with you at times or anything like that, you know, it happens. But now we're in a good time, so all is well. And I think you bring this calm to the office and it oh, definitely helps so the atmosphere. it's so nice to hear that. Yeah, you have a great energy. Thank you. You smashed it, boys. Excellent. Well done. Sarah, you know what? What? Oh. Undo your belt. Push her against the wall. Oh, which one should we choose? You've been working here for a while. And, you know, we get on well professionally, but I hope you don't mind me saying, but I think we get on well personally as well. Mm, yeah. Yeah? So this is a little bit delicate, and I hope it's okay. But um, I was thinking, and you can say no if you want, no problem. I was thinking maybe one day we could go out on a date. Um, yeah, why not? Well up for it. Okay, well up great. For it. And we don't need to tell anyone about it. It's just between us. Okay. Well done. It wasn't the best, but you could have done a lot worse. So, uh -huh. well done. Should I have pushed? Hang on, there was only three options. So, how's it going with Mr. Larina? I really expected you guys to get it on. No, it's just professional. Oh. Okay. Should I have pushed her up against the wall and kissed her? Or undone my belt? I like this one too. Do you like it? Give them a computer that's, game. That's Give on them Steam. a computer game. Mm -hmm. I mean, she might love computer I, um, games. I could be right, wrong. We're, she go, could we're love going again. We're skipping through. Right. I refuse to. Okay. Yoga lessons. You're going to love it. Right. Skip it. Lovely. Cool. Great day. Chatting. This is great, you know. Right, picture on the wall. What was this one? <clears throat> um, they're in different positions. It wasn't there last time. Okay, facts, go. Smashed it. Good. Okay, I just want to see that in question. Um, professional, because it's the office. Mm -hmm. Good, go. This is a pretty... Um... Be more careful in the future. Good, go. That's the right. Um, <clears throat> reveal some personal information, Sarah. like you've got a mum and it's her birthday That's at some right. point in the future. Good, go. Good morning, Sarah. Um, uh -uh. Talk about how her weekend was. Good. Remember, we don't want to be like flirty at the event. Sarah, how long? Um, give her career advice. Business networking event. 
smashed it, boys. Smashing it. So this is play it cool. You don't want to be that person at the first given opportunity to start hitting on her. This is a business event. You should be acting professionally. There's also the thing that the longer it goes when you're getting on well and you're not hitting on her, then she starts to think, doesn't he like me or is he just being professional? And but we asked her out can was have her thinking at like the that, office. It's a nice way to kind okay. of build intrigue and attraction. Wow. And keep her on her toes. Sounds contradictory. Okay, we smashed it. Week later, don't even remember what the thing was. Oh. So... You went to the event with Mr. Larina? Yes, I did. Did anything happen? Uh, well, the event was great. Uh, and no, he didn't try anything on with me. We're gentlemen. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what is that reaction? Okay. My <laughs> okay. Smartly persuade everyone. Is this it? Is this it? Hey, morning. Morning. How are you doing? Good, and you? Oh, I'm all right. I'm a little bit embarrassed, though, that... Um... Oh, the wank stain. Um, referencing the business trip. We were... That's cool. Okay. Sarah, going? can you come in? Richard, do you need anything? Yeah, I just wanted to share the good news. Have you seen the Wall Street Journal today? No. Oh, yeah, buying crisps and shit. Boom. I know. Generous. I've got a bundle of money. Don't uh, care cool, what nice it is. Cool, nice right option. You Get know, yourself something good. nice. Okay, so Richard, is this, is this yeah. everything is arranged. Oh, great. Thank you. Yeah, um, I just wanted to tell you something that I really like it when you're relaxed because you seemed really stressed lately. Oh, this is where we call the, you know, informal. Yeah? Hey, you know what, Sarah? I was really stressed. Excellent. Sarah, you know what? What? Okay. <clears throat> so the advice earlier was, you know, you're, a profe you're at work, so you should always be professional. Coolly invite her on a date was not the best answer, apparently, according to that bit there, unless I'm just confusing myself. The other two options are um, whipping out your cock, or pushing her up against a big glass wall in a glass office for everyone to watch and kiss her. That's that C has got to be better than D or than B. There is no D. Um that'll be later, <laughs> ladies. Um C has got to be better than B, surely. But I would say they're both really bad. We've been working together a long time now, right? Yeah. Yeah? And I think it's going pretty well. Yeah. Um <laughs> It's a glass off. I do have some feelings for you, I have to say. <laughs> this isn't cringy. Uh, you could potentially oh. have a harassment suit there. Harassment suit. Yeah, if you're pushing up against the wall yeah. and she doesn't expect it. But it's a glass wall so everyone can see. There we go. Is that better or worse? <laughs> I mean, now you've got proof, so... <laughs> what? Better? I don't know. It didn't seem to be a yeah, good ending. and you're causing her all kinds of problems because uh, everyone will think that she's just sleeping with the boss for promotions or something. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well done. Everyone is talking about you in the office. They say you're fucking the boss to get promoted or to get extra stock options. <laughs> You're my friend, but if this is true, <sighs> screw you. Amazing actress, that one. Oscar in her future. I knew that wasn't the right answer, but it didn't seem like the first choice we had, and it can't be undo belt. Cool, that's the right option. Oh, we smashed it. That? Great. Perfect can't, I'm not going to play it again just to see. Oh, do I have to go back and see if it's un. Fine. Good. Fine. <sighs> Fuck my life. Are you sick? Right, yoga lessons. You're gonna love it. Cool, that's the right I'm option. Skip ahead. What do you think? Of right, we're back. Okay, we, this can't be the right answer, but it even the invite on a date didn't seem they didn't seem that happy that I chose that option. 
Maybe it's just the way the game that that needs to be fixed. Because this isn't good. if this works, then I just I give up on it. I just don't understand how humans work. But we'll see the comedy if, for you the comedy. What? I effect. think you're ready for some new responsibilities. Would you agree? Imagine if this was the right answer. I don't know. All right, I've got something for you. Are you ready? Oh my God. Oh my ready? God. Let's no, 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 shut no. the door. What's going on? Someone your... please help. You've got to do it. No, 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 no. Someone do it. please help me. I'm here. Up. No, I just, I just want to go home. No, no you ain't please. going home. Oh, we got that the red. was totally diabolical. I can't believe Absolutely that. Absolutely ridiculous. I thought it was the right one. There didn't seem seem to be any perfect way of ending that mission, but we we got the first one right. That cool. was the best the there right was, option. as what we expected. Great. Right, That's there we go, my friends. That was... Yeah, it was a bit disappointing, that level. It was a bit too much office simulator manager office manager simulator game that one because it was only really at the end we said do you want to date and she went yeah and even then afterwards then yeah that's all right and i'm like okay brilliant but onwards and upwards my friends let's have a look what the next episode is interracial dating how could this possibly possibly go wrong um followed by older this is obviously we get to play the first three levels before the game comes out, so we'll have to wait for the release for the rest of it. We've got older Mahmoud, younger woman, strip club, looking for a one-night stand, comedy interlude, <clears throat> girl looking for a serious relationship, girl in the group of guys, dating app, and sushi restaurant, bonus Chinese level. The bonus level for Chinese people, or bonus level for everyone that's based in Ch China or Chinese. Okay, who knows? Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.